Please stand for our invocation. I invite you to pray. Most gracious God, we pause this morning to ask you for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A school staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. Help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Williams, Chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates, Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Machinist Mate Class 2207 and Electricians Mate Class 2149. Today is a special day for these sailors, as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker was born in San Diego, California, and joined the Navy in 2014. After initial recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School, Power School, and then Prototype here in Charleston. After graduation, he was assigned to the USS Abraham Lincoln, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier initially home-ported in Norfolk, Virginia. While serving aboard, he completed a refueling and complex overhaul, a lengthy process where nuclear-powered naval ships undergo renovation and modernization, as well as refuel. When they were complete, he took the ship on a around-the-world tour from Norfolk, Virginia to San Diego, where he finally settled in his new home port. While performing his duties, he qualified work center supervisor, load dispatcher, and was one of the plant leading petty officers while at sea. After a successful sea tour, he was ordered here to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to teach and mentor junior sailors. His assignments have been in teaching basic electricity and electronics, and he has taught four different classes, all of which performed in the top percentile. He's been an example the entire command can emulate, and continues to demonstrate our Navy Corps values. So please join me in a warm round of applause for Electricians Mate First Class, Surface Warfare Qualified, Marcus Reeves. Good morning, uh, Lieutenant Commander Williams, Chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. There was a time that every one of the instructors here the ones that helped you through this arduous course were in those seats celebrating the same accomplishments as you are today. Each one of us also experienced the same ups and downs, the feelings of having our hard work pay off, as well as the defeat from underperforming despite our best efforts. We have all faced our trials in all different forms, with the exception of one. We have all had the support from one another to help push through the hardest of times, and in the end, we are all here to celebrate our accomplishments. Keep that with you. Keep this feeling of family that you have established over these hard times to propel you through the next challenge. As you, gra uh, uh, sorry. As you graduate today, I want you to take with you two things. One, you all have done an amazing job on an individual level as well as a family. Two. Although you have peers to surround you at all times, only compare yourself to who you were the day before and strive to make a single improvement every single day. If you were to start right now to work to improve yourself at least 1% every day, in 100 days you will be twice the person you were when you started. Congratulations and well done. I wish you the best of luck in power school and in the fleet. Military members, attention! Graduating students, I will now frog you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 25th day of February, 2022. To the appointees, 
Your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral, courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as an enviable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility by exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates. You will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Please be seated. And families, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom. We call these sailors our honored graduates. Today's honored graduates are electricians made third class, Kayla Hurley. Machinist made third class, Isaiah Flores. <laughs> graduates, front and center. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Lieutenant Commander Williams and Senior Chief Fenton. Military personnel, attention. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Electrician's Mate, Third Class, Caleb Hurley, and Machinist's Mate, Third Class, Isaiah Flores. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all the graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing as number one reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Best wishes, signed S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. <laughs> Military personnel, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2207, Machinist made first class, Brian Beekman. Thank you. Good morning, Lieutenant Commander Williams, Chaplain, fellow staff members, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Uh, first off, congratulations to all of you. All right, a job well done. I'm immensely proud of each and every one of you sitting here today. From day one, I set high standards for your class, and even though we had our ups and downs, all of you strive to live it up to the standards. Thank you. Nuclear Field A School may now be over. However, the work does not stop. I challenge all of you to continue to strive for excellence in everything that you do. Strive to excel in power school, and then again in prototype. Never lose focus of the end goal, which is join the elite community of nuclear operators in the United States Navy. I will leave you with the same words I told you on the day one. Show up on time. Never be lazy, and give 100% effort each and every day. And I promise everything else will fall right into place. Now presenting class 2207 Alpha. Left face. Machinist made third class, Armando Banderas. Machinist made third class, Daniel Marquez. Machinist made third class, Stone Mick Mike Woodrum. 
Sheena Spate, third class, Clayton Medlin. Sheena Spate, third class, Tyler Son. Sheena Spate, third class, Jordan Smith. Sheena Spate, third class, Gavin Sutterfield. Sheena Spate, third class, Patrick Williams. Sheena Spate, third class, Annabelle Zertzman. Machinist Mate Third Class Matthew Betcher. Machinist Mate Third Class Joshua Hart. Machinist Mate Third Class Cooper Hildred. Machinist Mate Third Class Lauren Hoyt. Machinist Mate Third Class Andrew Lucas. Machinist Mate Third Class John Martinez Onstad. Machinist Third Class Nolan Samborski. Machinist Made Third Class Chandler Tumanig. Graduating with honors, Machinist Made Third Class Isaiah Flores. Machinist Made Third Class Hunter Frommel. Machinist Made Third Class James Herdy. It's now my pleasure to introduce the sectionally petty officer for class 2149, electrician's mate second class, submarines qualified, John Friend. I, uh, I don't often give my own speeches at these. It's actually very unique because, see, I do this graduation every Friday for all the classes. Uh, but I only graduate my own class every six months. And I'll tell you, from first-hand experience, it is a lot easier to read a script than it is to read your own speech. So, you guys all know you may be nervous. I'm going to overcome that now. 2149 was an extremely well-working, oiled machine. They were a great team. Their congruency was very high. Or as the class leader would always say, they had high congruency. It was consistently displayed throughout. Uh, you can see that truth in the fact that Almost all of them has made it to the end of A school and graduated. We actually gained in numbers in the class. In one, in one passing, I actually uh, saw a junior sailor in the whole room uh, talking because they had, they had been in a transition setting and were changing classes. And I heard them, I overheard them saying, I really hope I go to 2149. Uh, so job well done. You guys really performed well above standard, and I'm very proud of you. No, uh, no speech in the nuclear navy is complete without at least one Admiral Rick Over quote. And there's one that I, I've always used and I like it. It's simple and I can remember it, so I do use it. And it's kind of a, it's similar to one that uh, Vince Lombardi's also used and made. Uh, but Admiral Rick Over's is a little more cut and dry. He says, uh, in the in the relent sorry in the relentless pursuit of perfection, you will achieve excellence. Vince Lombardi uh, stated that. You can't be perfect, but if you try to be, then you'll become excellent. I sometimes look at our standards and how high they are and wonder if Admiral Rickover didn't think that perfection was actually attainable. Uh, I think that best suits your class because you weren't perfect and you made some small mistakes and you continue to strive to be in a position to improve from them. Whether that was uh, a lower than average test score or that you didn't get along with somebody in your class, you overcame it. And you're going to get all kinds of mistakes in the Navy, and it's okay. At no point should you let that define you. You never want to play the victim. Rather than let it define you, you need to move forward and let how you overcame it be what defines who you are. Families, thank you for your support to this point. They needed it. Uh, and when they called you to say I was being too hard, I appreciate you agreeing with me. That was nice to hear. I, I don't know how much they did call you, but I hope it was good things. Um, yeah, their, your support got them here today. I really appreciate it. They're going to need it as they continue through the pipeline and when they get to the fleet. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, and lastly, for staff, thank you for being here and for setting the example for these sailors. Uh, I think that you've done good to them, and, and uh, they're going to appreciate it, and they're going to remember you for a long time. Okay, I've talked enough. Uh, let's get this class what they've earned. Go Navy. I'm now presenting...
Class, 2149. Uh, Electricians make fire and apprentice Ashton Andrews. <laughs> Electricians make third class Cyrus Bliss. Electricians make third class Luke Corson. Electricians make third class Ryan Crisnell. Electricians make third class Anthony Cruz. Electricians make third class Jesse Dinshaw. Electricians make third class. Mason Boston. <laughs> Electricians made third class, Placido Gomez. <laughs> Electricians made third class, Matthew Harvey. <laughs> Electricians made third class, Garrett Heinzen. <laughs> Electricians made third class, Hui Ho. Electricians made third class, Guillermo Iniguez. 2149 Mike's class leader. Electricians made third class, Aiden Jernasek. Electricians made third class, Trevor Jones. Electricians made third class, Tyler Jones. Electricians made third class, Wyatt Marcus. Electricians made third class, Joshua Marvin. Electricians made third class, Brandon Masters. Electricians made third class, Alexander Knighter. Electricians made third class, Jacob O'Brien. Electricians made third class, Gabriel Ramirez. Electricians made third class, Brian Sayes. Electricians made third class, Mel Slusher. Electricians made third class, Richard St. John. Electricians made third class, Walker Swainson. Electricians made third class, Michael Tamaris. Graduating with distinction, 2149 Mike's assistant class leader. Electricians made third class, Christopher Baker. Electricians made third class, David Lillian. Electricians made third class, River Nicholas. Graduating with honors, electricians made third class, Kayla Hurley. 2149 Mike's Master at Arms, electricians made third class, Thomas Lampert. Electricians made third class, Andrew Reed. Each of these sailors has exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed their training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers are the consistency of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example they set. They demonstrated the, quantity, the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are the recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. 
Machinist Mate, third class, James Hergetty. And Electrician's Mate, third class, Brandon Masters. Awardees, front and center. This is always my favorite part, because they don't actually know they're the awarded uh, sailors until, so they find their way up. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Lieutenant Commander Williams and Senior Chief Caton. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, Third Class, James Harrigate. And electrician made third class, Brandon Masters. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart from peers by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your impressive dedications to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection and recognition today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. Now, my pleasure to introduce the Director of Student Divisions, Lieutenant Commander Williams. Good morning. All right. Especially welcome to the friends and families that are here to support the sailors. Uh, beautiful day in Charleston. Hopefully, you'll be able to take advantage of it. I know they recently have come home to see you guys, and hopefully, they did for a holiday stand down leave. So, they only have a small amount of time, but we got to be back at work on Tuesday. But uh, we definitely will keep my words short, which I promised them yesterday, so we can get you on leave, get you out to be seeing each other, enjoying Charleston's work. Uh, there are two things that I want to cover, though. Um, two subjects that we talked about yesterday that one of them is easy to understand and see because it's tangible in front of their face right now. They have crows on their shoulders, so they see improvement in their military. They just got advanced. Their paycheck, they're going to see more money in their paycheck. You just heard what it means in a frocking letter, they now have a lot more responsibility, right? And expectations of how they handle themselves and how they go about ensuring standards are met by their subordinates. You know, so that's all tangible in front of their face right now. We can all see it and see what the hard work has accomplished and provided back to them. What they can't see is the equity that they just built in themselves in their professional careers, right? You really don't see that to your fighting for a job, right? Or to your you have mouths that depend on you. You have a family to take care of, right? So that security that they've built in their lives is uh, something that I get really nostalgic about because I was in their seat in 1994. I graduated as a mechanic, a school student, before 30 years later now I'm standing on this stage. But I didn't understand then what I built in my life, right? Um, some may understand it, and they hear the words that we're saying right now, but I know that's going to resonate more with this side of the room, right? Really what they have accomplished and what is really kind of awe-inspiring, really how their lives at such a young age have really accomplished something very great. One thing I said yesterday at Captain's Mass was there's a completely different ceremony and not exciting, right? It's where someone's being held accountable for not doing well, right? So the other side of that pendulum yesterday I was talking to a student, and I said, capability is only the prerequisite to get in the door here. You've got to have character, right? You've got to have grit. You've got to have some, something internal to you to push back whenever things are not easy. You know, um, I tell Master Chief, who I'm very close to, in the back back there, my parenting style changed greatly when I showed up here. <laughs> right? I, would, uh, I have two daughters, and my oldest is 12, and man, do I just... Uh, I completely baby her. I, everything, I spoiled the hell out of her. But really, you know, grit is very hard, right? Uh, being able to buffle down when times are tough and really push back challenges and get to something 
that you excel at and succeed at, but may, you never see yourself being able to get there. It's very hard, right? And it's, it's shows a lot to the character of the men and women in this room. It really shows a lot to the effort that you guys on this side of the house have put in to get them to that point. So I applaud all of you guys. So hey, <laughs> Long, so I'm going to do what I promised them yesterday and kind of cut it short here. I will not, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize the staff who are in the room, not just beyond their SLPOs and class directors, but the staff in A school are really invested in the success of these young sailors. I'm um, sure if you ask any one of them over here, they would applaud an interaction to someone that's outside of their team on really what they did to support them through here. So yeah, definitely thank you for all your effort. Petty Officer Corinne does an amazing job with these graduations, and I uh, Definitely want to give a hand for him. <laughs> to the graduates, I know I'm not going to be your department head come today, but like I said, I'm always here for you. If you ever need anything from me, come by and ask me for it. I definitely look forward to seeing your successes down the hallway and out in the fleet when we see you again. Yeah. stand for our benediction. I invite you to pray. Gracious God, we thank you again for this time that what you have given us to honor and celebrate these graduates. We pray that they will go to their next phase with a sense of pride and confidence, ready to face what lies before them. Bless them now, always providing them guidance, safety, and protection. May they strive toward excellence in all that they do. May they go now with the knowledge that they have your fullest and most profound blessings. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on. Carry on.